it's that time again. What's in the box this time? No! What's in the box? Well, at least it's not a severed head. I put your name on a t-shirt, mate. Oh, Do you like thanks, it? Thanks, man. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to today's video. Uh, today is a special day because Chris is back. Can you see him? Not yet. What about now? I know he's out there somewhere. He's probably trapped in the lift. Or he's just in the lift singing a song to himself. Hey! <laughs> oh, you're backflipped. He requested something from Kyrgyzstan. Did I? Yeah. It's, t it's small, but it, it actually is an incredibly hard thing to find in a, in a country where there is nothing. Okay. Close your eyes. Yes! Key ring! Look at that! Look at that guy so happy, he's got an eagle. I got, I got you a box t-shirt with Francis' name on him. You can steal them all? Yeah. We want to sell these. <laughs> and then I got you this box we're going to play with. This is our, oh, this is our new toy. Is. This is our new toy, mate. Find out about that later. Yeah. So yeah, new t-shirt drop. Um, the other ones, all, all the lift ones and the other ones sold out, so. Now we've got coloured ones that say just Cade on them. Naked lemon drizzle, naked bakewell tart or naked lemon drizzle. I'm all about bakewell. Bakewell tart. Lemon okay. drizzle. Good job. That's a lemon drizzle. What hat are you going to wear for the t-shirt shoot? Um, naughty hat. It's not naughty. Oh yeah, it is. Jess doesn't like it. Why is it naughty? Yeah, because she's sensible and she's the one who does all the writing. Yeah. On the, on the it's Instagram. Got naughty letters. Thing. They haven't even spelt anything right there. I know that that's not how you spell C and how you spell U. See you and next. See you next Tuesday. Dyslexic. <laughs> so we've finally taken delivery of. Uh, few new t-shirts. It's not just Kate t-shirts, we've got some uh, Jan design ones as well. So we're heading to a top secret location. Oh man. To get some photos of them. They're all gonna be on the Jam store. You should go and check them out. Link down below. I don't know, does this look too big or too small? Too big. He's ejected all of his weight into Kyrgyzstan, yeah. Am I allowed to do this, George? Um. I've never yeah. ridden down this corridor yeah, before. Maybe we could do an indoor crit one day. How far does I'll, it go? Just... I crashed. Kevin? Yeah. Mate, he's a baller. Your cat? He's such a baller. Owns a Lamborghini? Um, correction, owns a Lamborghini, a Bentley, and a Rolls Royce. Are these all the same guy's parking spots? This is all Kevin's. And, and he's literally a cat. Doesn't even have thumbs. <laughs> but he's a cool cat, isn't Mate, he? He's got a mad YouTube channel, does the cat, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, he rakes in so much dollar from that, from these little insane oh. cat videos. I do a collab with him. I think he'd be up for it, I'll ask him. <laughs> he, I mean, you, all you have to do is feed him some cheese. Clearly, I am making videos about the wrong topic. It's all about the cats. Hey, mate. Keyboard cat. There's Kevin's other car. Millions of views. Maybe billions. Kevin's other car, Aston Martin. The people that don't know Kevin is they can follow him on Instagram as well. Don't mess with that guy, he's a geezer. I haven't seen him in a while, I need to have a catch up with him. See how business is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See how he's doing. So it's surprisingly hard trying to find the one plug socket that, well, we used it last time, but I think it's moved. Blue steel. Magnum. George, the king of the lions. Who gave you my bike? Me? Mate, you know full well there's no rules to so just ride. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, huge bike lights. You're gonna mount this one on your handlebars and this one on your saddle. We're going this way. Ooh. Is this on hill? Well, I've basically filled up a whole 64 gigabyte memory card. Now it's lunchtime after this hill climb. I think I found a way out. Literally only just ordered mine and he's got it already. How's yours here? Kyrgyzstan power. What <laughs> if you got some superpower? That means you get food really fast now. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. It's like I do this, I go food. Food poisoning. Yeah. Comes it, goes in as quick as it goes out. <laughs> <laughs> the viewers want to know, Chris. Can't keep them waiting any longer. What happened in Kyrgyzstan? Why are you back a week early? I'm getting some glasses so I can see you. Tiny eyes. Oh, that's better. What happens in Kyrgyzstan stays in Kyrgyzstan, first of all, so no one will ever know. What, you mean like Rob? Stayed in Kyrgyzstan. Rob, Rob. <laughs> Arrived in Kyrgyzstan very early on a Thursday morning uh, and started building the bikes up. And I noticed straight away my front brake had no pressure in it. The hydraulic fluid had dropped, something that happened in the flight. We managed to kind of uh, find a bike shop locally that 
had a look at it. Um, <laughs> this is just getting worse. <laughs> Story to be continued when we get to a quieter place. It's off centre. What is? It, it is right. off centre, yeah. <laughs> right on the end of this bowl. Yeah, right, you should write a letter of complaint to Coca Cola about this. Not complaint, more just like a. You know what? Red Bull never get that wrong. Potential element. Always wanted to sit here, mate. I see it every time I come in. Yeah, I've not sat in this oh, yet. Look how good it is. It feels like some sort of Michael Parkinson style TV. You've got a nose like Michael Parkinson. <laughs> but I'm not a very good interviewer, though. No, you're not. So we went to a bike shop locally uh, just from like doing sort of a hunt around first bike shop turned out they didn't want to help us at all so they then told us to go to another bike shop who uh, to put it simply royally buggered the bike they managed to thread the screw point for getting the hydraulic fluid in and the shifter um, and didn't actually do anything so rob effectively hacked it by forcing pressure in through the brake caliper, try and give me some pressure to be able to actually brake. And that worked for a couple of days. Really good idea, um, just didn't quite go to plan. We you know, got signed up ready for the race. The race started on Saturday and on Friday night at about nine o'clock or 10 o'clock, the brake failed again, dropped all the hydraulic fluid all over the rotor. Um, and this uh, we think was caused by having to force extra pressure in and then Obviously everything just going from coming out. Race started on Saturday. Uh, first climb of the race is 4,000 meters up. Uh, so half of Everest. And we got up, got up that. It took, actually ended up taking us two days because we got stuck out in a, in a snowstorm. Um, so camped out about 2,700 meters, I think. Um, on the second day, climbed over the top. Uh, and then started descending and the pressure had dropped in the brakes again. So how we tried to solve this at that point while both of us kind of struggling with the altitude was uh, change, change the pads, force the rotors to slightly close to allow there to be some grip, uh, which worked. Um, and it meant that I actually had some front brake uh, for the next couple of days. Big big problem was the third day of the race uh, it was about <clears throat> 45 degrees it's very hot you went from snowstorm to heat yeah that quickly in yeah in two days uh, and the scenery changed so much as well which kind of blew me away so it was when we were at the top of a uh, Kegarty pass which is a really high pass it's very rocky very felt like being up a mountain but then two days later it felt like we we're in the desert so we had a really good night's sleep. Uh, we'd stayed with a local family, uh, gave us breakfast and everything. And we thought, you know, it was a good day. We made a lot of progress on the second day and got quite into quite a good position. And then on the third day, we'd got up, had breakfast with the local family. And then the goal was to basically, you know, do another big day on the bike, get some good distance in. Descent, fine. Next climb, uh, start the descent. And the about halfway down the descent, uh, the uh, cable basically dropped all of the hydraulic fluid uh, on a sharp turn uh, with me nearly going off the edge of the cliff. <laughs> I managed to shout at Rob and sort of said like, oh, you know, the, Rob was in front of me and said like, oh, the brakes failed again. And uh, I don't think he believed me when I first said it. And sort of like, oh, no, 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 you're right, you're right. And I was like, no, seriously, Rob, I can't, I can't go anywhere. Like I've got no front brake at all. I sat down there just pulling the brake like this. Nope, it's definitely not coming back. The more I try this, it's not coming back. I was having a bit of a meltdown from it all, understandably. Rob goes into, I make bikes, I can make something out of this mode. And what he did was, uh, on the underside of the frame is the cable guides that hold the hosing for the caliper brakes. So we filed down the cable guides to be able to effectively take out the, unscrew the rear brake take the cables and everything and then remount it to the front. It's just an unfortunate thing, which I, I think was probably caused by the issues of the bike in, in transit from flying. Um, <clears throat> and then I think the heat being 45 degrees is what I, I think personally think has caused the, uh, uh, the hydraulic fluid to overheat, boil out and burst out. Um, so then we spent the remainder of that day, it's about lunchtime by that point, Rob had hacked the brake on, 
I said to Rob, uh, let's, you know, we're just going to take it easy now, see what happens. Uh, we spent the remainder of that day effectively me going down descents pretty slowly with one brake because the concern was if the front brake fails and that I have no brakes. Um, and uh, it'd be a case of like descend a third of it, walk a third of it so everything could cool down, descend again. And that's how it went for the rest of the day and then for the next day as well. And I think that's the point where I'd kind of decided that I was going to have to scratch the race because unless there's a way of fixing the brake, uh, which the chances were incredibly slim. Well, there wasn't a bike shop in the middle of the desert. Yeah, there isn't many bike shops full stop in Kyrgyzstan. Oh well. Next year. On to the next thing. Don't know whether it's that, but it'd be something. I know what it is. Oh, so do I. <laughs> Got a new toy. Yellow box. Yellow box, black box. I like box. Yeah, pull that. Look at that thing. What is it? Um, not 100% sure yet. You can test your position when you actually go out on a bicycle by taking little sensors and popping them on you. Right around to see how much you wiggly wiggly. Optimising time trial performance in case you We can test it with your dance. <laughs> yeah! Attach it to my sacrum, mate. Board clap. Straight onto the sacrum. How would you go, like that, mate? Mm. <laughs> yeah, about, about there. Uh-huh. Oh, that's really warm. Because <gasps> it's been charging, it's really warm. Yeah. Really glad I'm, I'm not the like, test guinea pig for this. What are you doing? Holding it outside. <laughs> oh, nice one, mate. Ooh. Seventy three degrees. Seventy three degrees. When I'm sat up. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, move them. But then say so down like standard that. place. Top of the hood. Fifty four, top of the hoods. Top of the aero hoods. This is your pelvis angle. Forty. Read it in real time. Read James is gonna love this. Read it in real time. James is gonna love this shit. Or maybe you won't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Actually not as bad as I thought it would be. You could deal with that hair. Yeah, it's just some of my sacrum hair from my sacrum. So it's time to ride the lovely 8 bar home. I feel the weather's looking alright. I've been in the UK for a bit now. You're moaning that it's not warm enough. I've been like 45 degrees where he's been. It's still like 20 degrees and everyone's complaining that it's winter suddenly. It's winter's it's, coming, man. It's not true. Winter's coming. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna die. <gasps> that kid's gonna throw the pillow off the edge of the building. Do it! Is that Ab? I think it is. Hmm. Hmm. Oh God. Oh God, that's really dense. What? Very uncomfortable saddle. No pressure relief. Lots of random padding. Now? I wouldn't recommend taking it off now, mate. You think that's so comfortable? We tried riding home on the rails. Ah, it's solid, isn't it? Let's slot it in. Just slot it straight in. Mount yourself on your seat post. Yeah. Ooh. That's an image, isn't it, for the evening? Go on. 